Well, here's some facts you'll find hard to digest. <laughs> Your stomach has a pretty incredible capacity. Being able to hold up to half a gallon of liquids, that's a whole large bottle of Coke. It's pretty hard to estimate how much hard food you can eat because it's processed with your teeth before it gets to your stomach. There's definitely not enough room for a turkey, but a good-sized chicken would probably fit in it. If you were asked where your stomach was, you would probably point to your tummy. Sorry, that's wrong. It's actually up here, hidden in between your ribs. Scientists believe that the appendix will disappear eventually. Nobody really knows why we need it, but some researchers claim it might have existed to help our ancestors digest tree bark. Because it's no longer part of our daily diet, the appendix isn't necessary and can disappear from our bodies without any consequences. The appendix isn't the only obsolete part of our body. Wisdom teeth aren't that useful either. Yeah, they used to come in handy whenever our ancestors lost some of their teeth, but the only thing they help us lose now is the money we spend extracting them. Almost all of our body is covered with hairs, even if we don't notice them. They grow even in the belly button. Their purpose is to catch lint. Check it out. See? Your liver acts as your own personal bodyguard, protecting you from toxins and many other things you don't want hanging around in your body. It's also pretty indestructible and can even regenerate. Only about 43% of you is actually you. Over 50% of the cells in your body belong to tiny little creatures that mainly live in your gut. Still, even though your own cells are fewer than microbial ones, there are, on average, about 100 trillion of them in you. See? You're not alone. With this in mind, your own genes are less than half of what you really consist of. If you take all the microbes dwelling within your body and count their genes, you'll find between 2 to 20 million. If you sleep, it doesn't mean all of your body sleeps. In fact, sometimes your brain has to work even harder when you're asleep. It needs to process tons of information, and reports usually take a lot of time. The nose definitely gets a good rest while you're sleeping. Amazingly, your sense of smell basically deactivates at night. You wouldn't even be bothered if there was a really terrible smell in your bedroom. No comment. The nose is probably one of the most underappreciated parts of the body. We wouldn't even be able to enjoy eating without it. About 80% of the taste of any food is thanks to the nose and its ability to recognize odors. If you hold your nose while eating, you will taste almost nothing. With no sense of smell, you're likely to recognize food mostly by texture. So an onion might seem no different than a big refreshing apple. Yeah, try that and leave me a comment on how that goes. Scientists used to believe we could distinguish about 10,000 smells, but they were wrong. Recent research showed that people are actually able to distinguish between more than a trillion smells. We also remember them better than anything else, and smells can even evoke some distant memories. Your nose just doesn't help you breathe and catch odors. It filters the air for sensitive throats and lungs. If we inhale dry air, the nose moistens it, cools it, and heats it if it's necessary. Also, the nose cleans the air of dirt. When you age, your brain is gradually reducing in size. By age 75, it's much smaller than at 30, and it starts shrinking by the age of 40. It happens to everyone and doesn't affect your mental strength in any way. Our brain can store only 7 bits in its short-term memory. Don't even try to compare your brain with a phone capacity, not even the one you had back in 2005. That's why you can't even learn a phone number by heart. Our short-term memory functions just like a chalkboard. You can get some information, but sooner or later, you run out of space. To check your working memory capacity, try this test. Ask a friend to write a list of 10 words and read it to you. Most people recall 7 or fewer items from that list. Your RAM, or working memory, is an essential thing that we need to perform almost any everyday activity including basic conversations, surfing the net, and even petting your dog. Our strongest and emotional memories are often fake. 
The central memory gives us the confidence to believe that we remember everything, even though most of the details are made up in our heads. Not only your brain shrinks as you get older, you too shrink dramatically. The bones get more brittle, the backbone gets compressed. A similar thing happens when you rest at night. Your bones kind of relax too. Because of this, you wake up taller in the mornings than you are at the end of the day. Among mammals, only humans can walk on two legs for their entire lives. You might think that kangaroos or gorillas move in the same way, but kangaroos use their tail as a third leg, and gorillas use their long arms to keep balance. Your bones take part in metabolism too. Since they mostly consist of calcium, when there's not enough of this element in your blood, bones start shedding it into the bloodstream, balancing your body. The same reaction works in reverse, too. When there's too much calcium in your blood, it goes into the bones to be stored for later. The only bone to have a sense of humor in your body is inside your upper arm. That's why it's called the humerus. Okay, I made that one up. Moving along. The only bones that never grow are found in our ears. We can hear thanks to these tiny bones because they have adapted to transmit sound vibrations. Doctors call them the oscular chain. One of these hearing bones, the stapes, is the smallest bone in your entire body. It's no larger than a grain of rice. Our height, shape of our body, and skin color depend a lot on where our ancestors used to live. But we can adapt to new conditions even within our own lifespan. For example, if you move from plains to the mountains, you'll eventually develop more red blood cells to compensate for the lack of oxygen. And naturally, if you move from a colder climate to a hotter and sunnier one, your skin will get darker to adapt. Our lifespan is programmed within ourselves. They constantly renew and divide, but they have a sort of internal timer that stops at some point. Some cells also stop reproducing sooner than others. On average, cells cease dividing when we reach the age of 100. That means, if we could find a way to trick ourselves into turning off the timer, we could potentially live forever. Body fat isn't just a nuisance. It acts as insulation material, energy reserve, and shock absorber. Your body sends the most fat into your waist region because that's where your internal organs are. If something happens to you, this layer of fat might protect your vitals from irreparable damage. Heads up! Your skull isn't a single bone. It actually consists of 28 different bones, many of which are fused together to protect your brain. The mandible, or the lower jaw, is the only skull bone that isn't fixed to the bone around it. It's attached with connective tissues and muscles. This is what makes it so mobile. You can move it in any direction you like. Hey, you can actually masticate with your mandible, another word for chewing. You see, the strongest muscles in your body aren't in your arms or legs, they're in your head. The masseter is the main muscle responsible for chewing, and it needs to be the strongest for you to eat normally. And you know those muscles that allow you to move your ears? Those are temporalis, located above your temples. They also help you chew your food. Now, we've got two really fast muscles. They control the eyelid closing. In fact, they're the fastest muscles in our body. Eyes are fragile and need protection, so the reflex that protects them needs to be as fast as lightning. These muscles can shut the eyelids in less than a tenth of a second. People with double-jointed thumbs can bend them backward. It looks super unusual and very few people can do it. Still, it's totally okay. Even though it looks painful, it actually doesn't hurt at all for someone with a double-jointed thumb. Now, we recognize only purple-blue, green-yellow, and yellow-red colors. Everything else is a combination of these three. It's impossible to calculate how many of these combinations the human eye sees, because every single person has slight vision differences. But it's about 1 million combinations on average. You see? Wow, just one strand of hair can support about 3 ounces. On average, a person has about 150,000 strands. And when your hair is working as a team, it can support about 12 tons. That's two elephants. Um, not counting the peanuts. 
Your brain generates electricity, and it'd be enough to light up a small light bulb if you could only figure out how. It doesn't hurt to cut your nails or hair, because the only part that's alive is under the skin. Also, nails grow faster in summer than in winter, even in places where there's not much difference between the seasons. Also, nails grow faster on your writing hand, probably because you use it more often and that stimulates the nails more. It looks like the pinky finger is weak, but that's not true at all. Without it, you'd lose 50% of your hand strength. It usually works together with your ring finger to provide power. The other three are more for grabbing stuff. Oh, and just like fingerprints, your tongue has a unique print too. But you can't use it to unlock your phone, at least not yet. Also, your tongue has a lot of fat in it. If you gain weight, your tongue does too. There's acid in your stomach that breaks down food. The acid is so strong that it could eat right through a piece of wood. The total length of all blood vessels in an adult is close to 100,000 miles. That's four times around the equator. In your lifetime, you produce enough saliva to fill two swimming pools. Our ancestors needed goosebumps to make their body hair stand on end and scare away any bad guys. We don't need that anymore, but we still get them because we haven't evolved enough yet to get rid of this feature. Now, you've probably never noticed, but you mostly only breathe through one nostril at a time. Every few hours, the nostrils switch jobs. That's why only one nostril gets stuffy when you have the flu. Most people think they have five senses, but that's not true. Scientists don't yet know themselves, but they think there's more than 20. There's sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. And there are other senses like time, hunger, and thirst. Then there's proprioception, the sense of where your body is in space. The brain can't always tell the difference between intense happiness and intense sadness. It gets that you're experiencing a very strong emotion, but sometimes it gets a bit confused. That's why you might cry when you're very happy. Your eyes stay about the same size your whole life, but your nose and ears don't. That'd be so weird. Back in the day, all humans had brown eyes. Other eye colors developed as a result of a random mutation. Scientists think that while the first humans appeared on Earth around 6 million years ago, the first blue-eyed person appeared only 10,000 years ago. So it's pretty likely that all blue-eyed people on the planet have the same ancestor. Uncle Bob! All bones in the human body are connected to each other, except one. The hyoid bone is U-shaped and located at the base of the tongue, holding it in place. Bones are stronger than steel. A strong, healthy bone could, in theory, handle the weight of five pickup trucks. Still, they're not the strongest body part. The strongest is tooth enamel. It's made of a bunch of different materials that make it damage-resistant. Teeth live a long time, lasting for hundreds of years. But of course, you still need to take care of them. They're the only body part that can't heal itself. Your heart works non-stop and beats around 3 billion times over the course of your lifetime. Just like your heart, your tongue never takes a vacation. Even when you sleep, it helps push saliva down your throat. By the way, where do you rest your tongue? If you keep it on the bottom of your mouth, you're doing it wrong. This posture might lead to some neck and jaw pain. If you keep it jammed up against your teeth, you're doing it wrong too. It can cause your teeth to shift and might lead to a bad bite. Instead, try to keep it sort of halfway, about a half an inch away from your teeth. Now, we can't breathe and swallow at the same time. That's because whatever we swallow and the air we breathe travel down the same path, at least at first. It's like there's a little guy directing traffic down there. Your eyes can breathe. The cornea is the only body part that doesn't have a direct blood supply. It gets oxygen right from the air. That's why when it's dry outside, your eyes might get a bit itchy. Everyone dreams. Some people say they've never dreamt a night in their life, but they just never remember any of their dreams. Some scientists think that the dreaming stage is followed by an active forgetting stage. It's probably because dreams aren't exactly full of important information, and our brain needs to clean up some extra space for something more useful. Those who are lucky enough to remember their dreams still end up forgetting about half within 5 minutes of waking up, 
and after 10 minutes, it's usually gone for good. When you blush, the lining of your stomach turns red too. It happens because blood starts to flow around more when you're embarrassed, as your body gets ready for something stressful to happen. Your face and stomach lining get more of it, turning them red. Also, humans are the only animals who can blush, or at least the only ones where you can see it so obviously. During one lifetime, the average human grows 590 miles of hair. The average man, if he never shaved, would have a 30-foot-long beard. Hair grows a little faster in warm climates because heat stimulates faster circulation in our bodies. Everything you'd ever need to know about you is all written down in one strand of hair. From a single hair, a scientist could tell you what you've been eating your whole life and what kind of environment you've lived in. On average, one human eats their way through 100,000 pounds of food in one lifetime. That's like 10 big hippos worth of food. Lips are one of the most sensitive parts of the human body. They have loads of nerve endings, even more than your fingers. Also, lip skin is very thin, so you can actually see the blood capillaries inside. That's why lips are red or pink, unlike the rest of your body. Lips are also very sensitive to sun damage, so remember to apply sunscreen on them. It'll help to preserve their health and fullness over time. In addition to your fingerprints, your iris, and your tongue, your lips are also unique. The total surface of your lungs is about the same as a tennis court. (coughs) Coughs and sneezes are real fast travelers. A cough can get up to 50 miles per hour. A sneeze is even faster, almost 100 miles per hour. Unless you use your fingers to help you, it's impossible to sneeze with your eyes open. Scientists don't really know what's going on there. Some say it's just a reflex, so you can't control it. Others think it happens to shield your eyes from whatever's flying out. All humans literally glow. The light comes from your body heat. It's actually a thousand times less intense than you're capable of seeing, but still awesome. The largest flash drive in the world is actually your brain. Well, anyone's brain. The neurons in it combine together in such a way that your storage capacity is about a million gigabytes. It's enough to hold 3 million hours of movies. That's like a 300-year-long movie night. Hey, pass the popcorn! You start feeling thirsty when you lose about 1% of your body weight. If you lose 5%, you might even feel like fainting. Fingers don't have muscles that make them move. The muscles that do that are located in the palm and the forearm. The word muscle actually comes from the old Latin word for mouse. That's what the Romans thought their biceps looked like. On average, in their lifetime, a person walks about 110,000 miles. That's four times the distance around our planet, or half the distance from the Earth to the Moon. So, remember to wear comfortable shoes. It takes about a month for all the skin cells to renew. We shed about 30,000 dead cells every 60 seconds, losing about 9 pounds of skin every year. So, when your friends call you flaky, they're not entirely wrong. Our fingernails grow way faster than toenails. The latter grow almost four times slower because they're less frequently damaged than fingernails. Even though we often stumble on them, sudden circulation bursts usually doesn't last long. An eyelash is only here to stay for 150 days. The world eyelash record was about 3 inches long. They're also home for tiny mites. We blink about 4,200,000 times a year, at least once every 8 seconds. When we sneeze, the air that we blow speeds out at 100 miles per hour. It could accelerate faster than a brand new Ferrari. Also, you could fracture a rib if you sneeze too hard. Depending on the person, a human produces from half a quart to a full quart of saliva every single day. That's enough saliva to fill several bathtubs in a year. No spit. Saliva acts as a perfect remedy. Wounds in our mouth heal way faster than elsewhere. It also helps to taste food. Our taste buds are ready to perceive it only when it's dissolved in saliva. Now, it may sound crazy, but our bones are stronger than they seem. A cubic inch of human bone can bear about 19,000 pounds, making it four times stronger than concrete. The only thing that makes our blood type different is sugar. 
A, B, and AB types have five types of sugars, while O has only four, which makes it perfect for donors. Lack of additional sugar doesn't make O type less sweet. In fact, it attracts mosquitoes even more than other blood types. People have only eight blood types, while cows have 800 and possibly more. Usually, we shed about 50 to 150 hairs a day. An average lifespan of a hair is 5 years, and as soon as an old hair says goodbye to your scalp, a new one starts growing immediately. A human hair is stronger than the same diameter copper wire. A single hair can hold up to 3.4 ounces of weight, and if used properly, a full head can hold up to 18,500 pounds. Our stomach is bigger than it may seem with a capacity of nearly half a pound when needed, while the average is around 32 ounces. The food is digested within 4 to 6 hours, and it can also dissolve metal, so capacity matters. Lips are much more sensitive than fingers, having around a million nerve endings. They are 100 times as sensitive as the tips of fingers. Grooves and furrows make our lip print unique, just like fingerprints are. They also remain unchanged throughout our life. Tongue print is unique too, by the way. So, when are we going to see a tongue print reader? Our belly buttons have an entire zoo in them, with a range of about 70 different bacteria. Some of them can also be found in soil in Japan, and even several kinds of bacteria typical for polar ice caps. Our bodies actually glow. Now, we can't see that with the naked eye, though, because the light we emit is 1,000 times less intense than the minimum level we can perceive. Humans are the only living things on Earth that can actually blush, or need to, according to Mark Twain. Blushing is provoked by an adrenaline rush. Carmine, used in blushes and lipsticks, is red dye made up of ground-up beetles. Ew! Your ears keep growing throughout your life. They do sweat, too, and earwax is actually the kind of sweat they produce. By the way, your nose never stops growing either. Your heart is the only muscle that never gets tired. The aorta is massive. Its diameter is almost as large as a hose in your garden. We emit about 16 to 48 ounces of gases every day, which is enough to fill a small balloon. Okay, you can insert the appropriate sound effect here. Good job! Fat helps our bodies consume vitamins. Such vitamins as A, D, K, and E can be properly absorbed only when they're dissolved in fat. Our bodies have enough fat to produce 7 bars of soap. Blackheads made of sebum aren't black because they're dirty. They get dark because the debris is oxidized. Some parts of your brain can eat up their own neurons and proteins if you don't provide enough sleep. For example, the hypothalamus that's responsible for your sleep, hunger, and body temperature can do that. You can't inhale and swallow at the same time. I know you've just tried it. That thing called the pharynx is used as an air passage when you inhale, or as a food passage when you swallow. When we're awake, our brain may produce enough energy to turn an electric bulb on. It generates about 10 watts of power. You carry enough bacteria in your body to fill a can. Bacteria make about 3 to 5 pounds of your weight, representing 2% of our total weight. Still, most of them are the waste that our body has. The normal body temperature is considered to be at a range of 97 to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest fever ever recorded was a critical 115 degrees. Oh, and that person survived. The pinky finger may be the smallest one, but it's the strongest one, too. It has 50% of all strength of your hand. A human has about 20,000 to 25,000 genes. Still, cornflakes have more genes than we do. Luckily, it's about sophistication, not the quality this time. Cornflakes 1, human 0. The iron our bodies have is enough to produce three nails, each one inch long. The carbon that we have can be used for 900 pencils. Your liver has a superpower of growing back removed parts. It can regenerate to the original size from as little as a quarter of itself. The coolest camera so far has 400 megapixels. A human eye has 576. That's why the sunsets are so much better in real life than in the photos. 
a roller coaster actually tosses your organs around. When you feel as if your stomach's turning over, it might actually be the case. Even though every person on Earth has an absolutely unique smell, identical twins smell exactly the same. It must be because they have identical genes. Almost half of your taste buds will have gone away by the time you turn 60. Your sense of smell gets less acute as you get older, too. When you cough, you release the air at about 60 miles per hour. Turnips can be a great remedy for cough. Just slice them and add some honey on top. A tablespoon three times a day is enough. Our skin is the biggest organ that we have. It's also one of the heaviest organs, weighing up to 9 pounds. Hiccups is a two-step process. First, you inhale a lot of air because of a muscle spasm, and then, bang, the airways are closed, the air is blocked, and the famous sound goes inside. We don't smell when we sleep. That's why it's almost impossible to notice a gas leak at night. While sleeping, we can only rely on sound. Well, actually, we can technically smell while we sleep, but normally a good shower can eliminate that. Out of all the senses we have, smell is the most acute one. We remember 65% of smells after a year, but only 50% of things we've seen over the last three weeks. We also get a new nose every 28 days, because nose cells are renewed every four weeks. As for taste, again, we mostly rely on our smell, since it helps us perceive up to 95% of the flavor. Without our smell sense, it'd be hard to tell an apple from a turnip. While a bunch of flowers may be fragrant for you, there are people who suffer from cacosmia. They always seem to smell something unpleasant, even if there's nothing like that around. We need ears, not only for hearing, but for balance, too. Our vestibular system occupies the inner ear. Canals in your inner ear contain fluid and tiny hair-like sensors helping you keep your balance. If you have red eyes in a photo, blame it on bouncing light. The flash jumps off the blood vessels at the back of your eyes, creating that effect. All the bones in your body are connected to each other except for the hyoid. This bone serves as a support to your tongue, and it's one of the rarest bones to break. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.